the last page of the packet. So we only have two problems and they're pretty quick. Which pattern would fold to make a pyramid with a square base? Now remember, there's only one base. There's only one square. And then the rest of the sides, because it's a pyramid, these all have to be triangles. So first of all, the easiest way to, to check that is check how many of these have just one square. Nope, there's three squares. No squares, four squares. Guess what? We're done. All of this is one square for the base, and then there are the four sides for the pyramid. A cone has a radius of 12 centimeters and a height of 9 centimeters. Always do your best to draw that. Doesn't have to be perfect. There's my height is um, 9. Not to scale, otherwise my 9 wouldn't look longer than my radius of 12, but that's okay. What is the approximate lateral surface area of the cone? And they give it to you here. Now remember, this is a North Carolina test they put in the problem. In your um, math chart, you're going to have to look it up and look under lateral, not total, but lateral surface area. So um, L is the slant height. That's important to know, slant height. It's not the height. You might be tempted to just use the 9. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Pythagorean theorem and find this L right here. See how that's a right triangle between that radius and that height and then this L all makes a beautiful right triangle. So I'm going to redraw it down here. And maybe it'll be a little closer. This is 12, this is 9, and then this is L equals question mark. You can use Pythagorean theorem. L squared equals 9 squared plus 12 squared. 81 plus 144. Then L would be 220, L squared would be 225. So L is 15. There was another quick way you could have done it. I don't know if you noticed this was a 3, 4, 5. Divide by 3, divide by 3. Aha, that means this would be 15. So the slant height is 15. The formula is S equals pi R L. The radius we know is 12. 15. 12 times 15 is 180, I believe. Let me check. 180. So I just have to go 180 times pi. And you can just uh, make sure you use the second pi button on your calculator. And I get approximately 5, 6, 5, dot, 4, 8, and a bunch of numbers. You can see that matches D on the thing.